Welcome to Ifta Shots with Fintech ki baat. We have Mr. Sogata Basu who is the founder of Cashrich. Thank you so much for your time today Mr. Sogata. Thanks a lot for having me. My pleasure. Uh let's start a bit about uh, with what Cashrich does, right? Uh sure. I see I've been seeing Cashrich here everywhere so yeah. I just got curious what exactly do you guys do? Sure. So Cashrich is a investment app and unlike you know many other investment apps we try to curate the right type of solutions for our clients hmm. where they don't have to you know put in their time and effort to figure out the right set of investments so we try to give them well researched set of mutual funds that they can invest in just two three taps and even the withdrawal process is very easy our customer service is very prompt we try to give a good quality service where the person need not put a lot of time but still he can do a long term investment effectively mm-hmm. perfect perfect so that means that the person can actually yeah. see his entire portfolio also in one place yes. and get uh what do you say prompt uh, suggestions on what to buy and what not to buy yeah uh, but uh, we also have some uh, you know different strategies like dynamic sip okay. which is a unique uh, algorithm which i don't think any other app in india has currently hmm. so the concept is that if you see the market it will keep always be volatile and will go up and down right, right? now in a normal sip you will invest the same amount of money every month uh-huh. in the same equity scheme Right. generally what we see it you know 10000 rupees in two three equity schemes and that True. keeps going on right mm-hmm. but if you step back and think that in march 2020 when the covid crash happened the equity market went near 26000 right. sensex was around 26000 within a year in october 2021 the market was at 62000 so numbers right. are reversed right? Right. right now if you uh, keep doing a normal sip at 26000 as well as 62000 you will invest the same amount of money in share market true but it doesn't make sense because you're not doing buy low or right. you know investing right. more when markets are lower you are right. basically investing the same amount in respect to market valuation true that's where we think it is not the right process the right process is to understand where the market is currently and then invest accordingly you're not trying to predict the market Perfect. what you're trying to do is understand where the market is currently at 26000 in march 2020 market is low so you should invest more at 62000 in october 2021 it is at a very high level and you should not invest or invest very little in equity market right makes sense so that is what the algorithm does so that users don't have to put in their and time and effort because most of us are busy professional we don't have time to think about this thing exactly but the algorithm can do it perfect perfect that's a brilliant solution i think that will be helping a lot of people invest wisely yes. having said that let's come back to ifta and uh, what's happening around here right a unique yeah. concept that i observed around here is the olympiad right. what are your views on that and overall the ifta event that's happening sure so i'm one of the founders of this olympiad and mm-hmm. the reason we started this was that uh, we saw two problems one the young generation especially post covid wants to learn about finance wants to trade wants to invest true however it's not part of their general curriculum true so then they end up getting into uh, you know the uh, they consume content from influencers mm-hmm. they see things on social media they try to right. you know act on it now some influencers might be good they might be creating insightful contents but there would also be a set of influencers who will be trying to scam and they will try to do some fraud right, right? and it's constantly happening so that's where we thought that we need to create good quality content and make that part of our program which is mm-hmm. the fintech olympiad program so that's the first part of it the content right. but the second problem was motivation why will a student learn mm-hmm. there are few people who are self motivated but the majority is not right. so for the majority what do you do so that they feel the motivation to learn about finance learn True. about you know uh, fintech stuff digital literacy and fintech literacy more are like important so we thought that if we structure it like a quiz and make it very competitive then many students will be motivated so what happened was we created this structure where students will register online everything is free right after that there will be couple of online mentorship sessions where you know people from good companies will come and do that mm-hmm. then there would be uh, this uh, good quality content which will be part of the syllabus right. and there will be certain online tests right then based on those filtering rounds we will call the top 50 students to mumbai for uh, the final round as part of ifta right so now currently those final rounds are going on so we had participation from all the iits iims good colleges bits pilani so uh, you know these students are currently present at the venue they are competing for this mm-hmm. and then they are getting the awards and recognition and so you know that gives them a lot of motivation and uh, you know almost 75 students from across india have travel just to wow. attend this final round which shows that they are truly internally motivated to participate exactly. in the fintech right. olympiad and that's where i think if we scale it with the support of other fintech players mm-hmm. it can be really helpful in uh, you know encouraging financial and digital literacy in india 
Great, great. No, amazing stuff. I think this is really unique. Uh, yes. It's one of the fintech key wins that I've seen so far. Yeah. I think this actually, you know, even uh, pokes the younger generation to learn more about yes. uh, fintech, finance in general from the right sources. I think that's a really great idea. Exactly. Having, and uh, yeah. just to add to what you said, in many of these conferences and other events, you will see a lot of people talking about financial literacy and the need for it and why it is not being taught in schools and colleges as a problem. True. And we keep, you know, saying that, you know, why they did not teach us about tax or investment exactly. when we were at school and college, right? Yes. But nobody's solving it. We have exactly. been talking about it. So to solve it, we launched this Fintech Olympiad. Perfect. No, I think this really makes sense. And yeah. uh, hopefully, I mean, it will accelerate learning journey, the right path for yes. uh, the students as well. Right. Uh, having said that, right, uh, one final word from you. Uh, what is your perspective on where Fintech is moving in the next couple of years? What do you see revolutionizing it? Sure. So I think even now, with a lot of Fintech innovation happening in India, the penetration of financial services, whether it is mutual funds or insurance, even stock trading is quite low in India. Our right. population is huge and we have a lot more potential to grow. Hmm. Plus, you know, organizations like NPCI, they keep coming up with new ideas. Like they create the platform and on top of it, we kind of innovate. Even the government is creating a lot of interesting platforms through on top of which you can innovate. Like hmm. ONDC is there. Right. right. So when these platforms will come in properly and people will understand the true potential of the platforms, FinTech in India will accelerate many folds in the next four five years definitely definitely thank you yeah. so much this was a really insightful conversation thanks a lot thank you so much mr Swagata. thank Pleasure. you thank you very much